This is what happens during the cordon and such activity aimed at forcefully collecting guns from warriors in their hideouts. This intelligence-led operation is a joint exercise by all security agencies, including the army, police and ant stock safety units. As to the exercise is part of the Usalama Kwawote operation that was launched in 2021 after the influx of insecurities caused by the warriors in Karamoja sub-region. During the cordon and such exercise, the security agencies only excuse children, women and the elderly and focus on able-bodied men suspected to be warriors. Now, once those ones are separated, they are left to go. Because in the history of Karamoja, we have not had the, any case of any woman who has been found to be armed. So women are innocent in all these operations. They are left to go. This exercise is called to forcefully collect weapons and ammunition from the warriors suspected to be engaged in cattle wrestling, among other illegal activities. The major purpose is to arrest wanted persons capture documents, recover guns or ammunition. And most of these operations, they are guided by intelligence. Before the exercise kicks off, officers take instructions from their senior commanders on the operational do's and don'ts. Scheme of maneuver, platoon one of admin coy will conduct a cordon and Many times the operation is successful, as the case in Kabongo district, where 20 rifles were recovered. Of these, 60% were voluntarily handed over. The Wusalama Kawoto operation in Kabongo district has recovered 207 rifles and 683 ammunition. We have recovered very many guns through voluntary means, others by forceful means. But while the UPDF-led operation is on a success trajectory, but the existence of porous borders remains a major challenge to the efforts of the security agencies, with calls now being made for strict gun regulation to be passed in Kenya and South Sudan. The government has used a carrot and stick approach to the Usalama Kwawoto operation by offering incentives to those who surrender their weapons in favor of development initiatives. Some of the interventions that government has put in place to ensure stability in the area include the parish development model, EMIOGA, youth livelihood programs, and the disbursement of iron sheets to communities. However, some seem to have missed out on these opportunities. The issue is the, the program of the Karachunas is a new program, but there is already a provision of who tractors by His Excellency Yuri Kaguta Museveni to the people of Karenga district. Now that they are coming from the bush and they are showing interest in agriculture, definitely they will benefit from these tractors. Between 2006 and 2011, the government carried out a disarmament exercise that seemingly brought peace in the area. Since 2021, 1,170 firearms have been impounded, with 273 of them impounded during the first half of this year. It remains to be seen if the current operation will be more successful. <laughs> Becca Senyonga Mlinde, NTV, tonight.